Are you ready, guys? Ooh. One more. Are you ready, guys? Are you awake? Yeah. Okay. Seb. Mario. You have the honor. Do I? Yeah, you have. Okay. So it's Thursday. Okay. It's Thursday. So it's like we started with the tweeting thing, uh, being social and stuff. So what does people do on Thursday morning instead of working? They actually look at old pictures. Um, so it's the kind of thing that you look at and you're like, oh, crap, I, did I really do that? Um, and we wanted to start on the same, on the same kind of vein. So we are actually going to start our keynote with a retrospective of what happened in 2014, which... It was a big year, right? 2014, there were a lot of stuff, so I guess it was bigger than that. That big? Yeah, a bit more, maybe? Yeah. Better? Better. Better, definitely better. I'm, I'm it was not, big. Not still sold, maybe... Yeah. Okay, yeah, better now, now. Yeah. with that. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. it. Yeah, it was big. It was that big. Uh, there, was a lot, there were a lot of rumors. Like, we are, we are, we're all developers. Like, you know, we all love rumors. We live on rumors. And there was one big rumor last year, yeah. right? Right, Seb? Yeah, so, as you all know, last year, a lot of things happened. And one of the biggest things was new version of Android, new major version. And there was a lot of things, like lots of people talking about what would be uh, the code name for the new Android release. Uh, there was some really random stuff going on. Uh, there was Lion, because uh, KitKat, and then just Google selling out, I suppose. That was the idea. Uh, there was Lemon Meringue Pie, which looked like a valid candidate. There was BigQuery's Lemonade. I might have well, just lemon, made that up. Right. I don't know. Lemonade? Possibly. You you drink Android lemonade? Seriously? Yes, you do. I do. Yeah. I do. Okay, cool. So Lion and every say will say, okay, Lion is the big hit. It's definitely going to be Lion, and the uh, tech creator Android police. But no, 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 no. That never happened. So the first one will say no. And what happened? Lollipop came out, right? Yes. It was one big hit, and you know one funny story about the Lollipop name. Uh, it's totally unofficial and take that like totally unofficial. But uh, when we did the Google Developer Expert Summit back in the day in uh, 2000, 2013 actually, there was discussion about Lollipop and uh, on L actually. And uh, someone came out with Lollipop. So it wasn't Lollipop, you. Lollipop was and it? then Lion and stuff. So it wasn't you. Uh, no. No, okay. no, but uh, <laughs> someone. No, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. But but that might be one, you know, one way the lollipop name came out. But it was cool, right? Lollipop one was one big hit, and we're going to discuss about this in just a few seconds. So yeah, Project Hera. So Project Hera, in case you didn't see that happening, the rumor unfolding last year was this big, big rumor. Uh, that Android L was actually going to bring a completely unified uh, user experience for web apps and native apps uh, involving Chrome and Search and something, something else, I don't know. Um, there was this really long post on Android Police that everybody was freaking out about and people was like, oh no, web apps again. Um, mostly me, I, su I suppose. Um, but luckily, it didn't really happen. What happened instead was a similar thing, but just like toned down, which was the integration of the document-centric uh, multitasking in Lollipop. So with that, appl applications now can have documents or in the case of Chrome, uh, websites, so tabs, showing up as separate entities in the multitasking menu. Yeah, and uh, one, one cool thing is that it's happening right now. It's pretty much the opposite of what's supposed to be Project Hera. So basically, right now, you have a Chrome app, which is called Arc, and you can start running Android applications inside Chrome, which is cool. And you definitely uh, can try that, and it's re it is 
working ish. Yeah, it, ish. it actually works. It's quite easy to do. I yeah, would suggest really you to try your apps on it. So take that Chrome. Okay, so moving on. Oh, yeah. And that's my business. That's yours. Okay. Um, as you know, um, last year, well, uh, Android Wear was a big hit, was one of the biggest products shown. But Glass was already there. And so a lot of developers wanted Glass and Android Wear to work, to work together, like receiving notifications both on your Wear device and on Google Glass. But again, that never actually mm. happened. Yeah, not, uh, not really. No, false again. False, false, false. Uh, what happened is that we had a notification ish for Google Glass, uh, but these notifications actually steal all the notifications from, from Android Wear. So actually, if you have Wear and Glass, you have to decide. You have to choose your path, I would say. Uh, so yeah, that was one of one big rumor, and now, uh, as you know, the Glass project has been changed, and I'm going to talk about that in again in a few seconds. But let's talk about devices. So staying on the hardware thing, it's like last year everybody was crazy about what will be the new Galaxy phone, what? how would it look, what, what will Whoa. it do. Hey, Amen. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, sorry, Galaxy? it's actually the Nexus. Oh, Nexus, yeah. oh, makes sense, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Galaxy, come on. Yeah, no, um, Nexus, no. please. So, yeah, there was this kind of rumor about having a <laughs> Nexus 5 refresh. Uh, this is actually a really nice rumor inception that I found with Lion and the Nexus 5 together. Um, and, well, actually, as you might have noticed, that didn't really happen. What happened instead was that Google announced that they were going to do the new Nexus with Motorola, and people was like, yeah, Motorola, yes, please <laughs> make a new Nexus. And then they said, it not only is made by Motorola, but we are taking the Moto X of this year, and we're going to make a, woo! No, we're making a phablet. Yep. A big one. Uh, it's like it's a, an awesome phone. It's, it's really awesome. It's really but awesome. It's, but it's not what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> it's gargantuesque. It's it's like huge. It's a leviathan. It's a behemoth. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, but it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely really, it's, it's a, a really nice device. It's really it, cool. It kind of surprised people because it was bigger than people expected. Nobody was expecting Google to actually go for it for a phablet, and also it was definitely way more expensive than the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 5 have been. So it was a clear break from the previous years, and that took pretty much everybody by storm. Yeah, but still, again, Nexus 6, great device. Uh, a lot yeah. of people who's using it, they love it. It's really amazing. It has an amazing screen. It has an amazing hardware. It's a, actually a really great even phone, but you need to love phablets. Even bitchy people is not bitching e about it. E even bitchy yeah. people like us, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Cool. So shall we move to where we are? At now. Yeah, so we just talked the rumors, the things that actually didn't happen. So let's see what, what we have now. Um, Lollipop, of course, has been the, the word on every mouth for Android developers. Um, Lollipop. And Lollipop was a huge hit. It was a, a big, a big release. And as you know, they firstly uh, launched the L version, like the L preview. And then they released a Lollipop. But, you know, it was working again ish. Android Lollipop. So, what happened? Uh, so, given that there were a couple of issues that people were having with Lollipop, uh, Google shortened the release cycle for releasing a new minor version of Lollipop that someone actually dubbed Lollipop that works. Um, and it's 5.1. Let's just skip the slide. Just pretend I didn't do it. Uh, yeah, 5.1. 5.1 was, uh, as someone said, Lollipop that works because it, it fixed uh, some of the major issues uh, Lollipop had, some memory leaks. And uh, we know there Google is also working on new versions. Uh, there are some, again, other rumors out there, but this version, 5.1, is stable enough. It's really, really good. And even on um, 
older devices like Nexus 5, it's working like a charm. So it's really, really nice to have 5.1 5, 5 as a st really stable version. So yeah, we can say that now everything is awesome. Woo! But um, again, I it, mean, th this uh, took we, a while. We can just say, when you do a big, 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 big release, it's normal to have bugs. And we can just pull a, a apple on, on this one and pretend we did it right on the first try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess some of you might recognize in, in this situation, right? When you have a client that says, OK, please support gingerbread. I say, what? Sorry? Nope. What? Nope. OK, so say gingerbread one more time. I dare you. Just whenever you have a client asking you to support gingerbread, you should just do one thing, which is showing him this page. This actually has been updated yesterday, so I had to update this de the slides. Um, and it shows that Froyo and Gingerbread together are covering less than 7% of the market share. And probably in countries you might be targeting, such as Europe, uh, the US, Japan, whatever, it's even less than that. Uh, and people that is stuck on Froyo or, or Gingerbread is never going to pay for anything or probably not even going to download free stuff because they don't probably don't even know what a phone is. They just have it there. So just let it go. Let, did you say let it go? Uh, looks uh, like goat. Let, let it, it goat. goat. Yes. Oh, let it goat. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but. Just no, let, just let go of let ice go. cream sandwich as well while you're at <laughs> it. <laughs> let it go seriously. So even ice cream sandwich, just let it go. Let yeah. it go. It's it's enough. We have enough with that. With jelly bean as a min SDK. Yeah. Right. Our recommendation is go for min SDK yeah. 16. It's, come on. Min SDK, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak it? <laughs> okay. So. Thank you, Anke Moody. <laughs> Mean SDK. So, right, yeah, of course, do that. I mean, we are developers, we need to push. We need to push forward. And so update your manifest. Uh, sorry, I meant Gradle, of course. I sincerely hope you're using Gradle and not Eclipse. Yeah, because if Just you're saying. using Eclipse, you're probably still targeting gingerbread. So bad, 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 bad. Don't do that. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, spoiler alert. Okay. It was like Fight Club, the the, the <laughs> frames put in the in the movies. Oh, okay, like yeah, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, glass, 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 glass. Yours again. Yeah, um, as you know, um, from 2012, Google has been exploring Google Glass. They created the Google Glass Explorer program. Um, glass Explorers were developers like me who spent quite a lot of money on Google Glass just to have the opportunity to try a new thing, like try a new device and explore new possibilities. And they, the Glass Explorers created very, very cool stuff, great applications, new ideas, and really pushed the boundaries uh, of Maybe of a bit too much. Maybe a bit too much, like yes. this guy. Uh, he's a journalist, and the first thing he, do, he did when uh, he got glass was going under the shower and taking a shower with glass, you know, just because it's waterproof and want to try that. So, yeah, that was pretty much the spirit of glass explorers, like try new things. Uh, I never did the shower with glass because, you know, $1,500. But, um, yeah, that was the spirit. But I have to say that right now, as you, as you probably know, uh, the glass explorer program has been shut down. And, but that doesn't mean that Glass is finished. Uh, actually, it's the opposite. Uh, now, Glass has become an actual product inside Google. And they are working on improving it and making a, probably a new release. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, like pretty much all the community is. But right now, yeah, we can say that Glass has been explored. Uh, we're looking forward to that. OK. <laughs> No comment has been added for this image. So Android Auto, uh, it's uh, 
has been launched, announced actually at I.O. last year again. Uh, it's not really readily available yet, but it's a really interesting thing. I've played at I.O. with the demo unit they had. And it's basically um, this uh, way of connecting your phone to your car to show uh, relevant stuff from your phone on your car. Kind of like how you do with wearables is the same. So just the idea is to push relevant stuff to you and then you get music, messaging, Google Now, uh, Billie Jean. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is really interesting. It's, it's coming soon. Uh, and the cool thing is that at this DroidCon we have a session on that, so be sure to attend the session on Android Auto because it's going to be really, really interesting. And of course, Android TV. Um, as you might have noticed, uh, Android is now spreading. It's now spreading everywhere. We have uh, wearables, we have auto, and of course, we have TV. Android TV was again presented at I.O. last year. And the cool thing is that it is a full-fledged version of Android. They are actual Android devices, but they are splashed on a TV screen, and you can start building very, very cool applications for TV. It's a product. It's already there. They're selling it. They're probably expanding the, the, uh, the, the selling of the devices in, uh, in other countries. Uh, we have, again, two sessions on that. So, again, it's, it's a very cool platform. And be sure to attend because TV is a pretty big deal. So be sure to do that. And I would say now that the biggest thing that was launched last year, in, at least in terms of mind share in the public, was Android Wear. So Google launched uh, this version of Android, which is uh, tailored made. You see what I did there? Tailored uh, made. <laughs> to, tailor. to run on uh, on watches, and it's uh, pushing all the notifications that you would get on your phone to your wrist, so you can uh, you can access them without reaching for the phone, and it can, it can actually do way more than that. Yeah. Um, we're probably going to see the, the second generation of Android Wear coming out at, this, at some point during the year, because the first ones were launched almost a year ago at I.O. again. So I'm just waiting. Yeah, we're waiting. And in the meantime, again, Android Wear is a commercial ready platform. It's there. There are a lot of devices. And you can start building really cool applications for that. And that's one of the reasons. Uh, at this DroidCon, again, we have three sessions on Android Wear. We have a whole, a whole afternoon about Android Wear today. So be sure to attend these sessions. My talk is there. So yeah, exactly. Sure Full disclosure is doing <laughs> one of those. But yeah, they, it is a really cool platform, and you can do really cool things with that. So please come. Yay! So we have seen what has been. We've seen what we have now, and we thought it was fair to talk about the rumors and the things that are actually going on now um, that are supposed to be coming soon, or rather soonish. Soon? soon we don't yeah. really know when, but to be completely fair, you kind of have gotten the vibe around here. It's me and him, so you shouldn't really trust us. It might actually <laughs> never happen. So prob yeah. You know, Android, so who knows? I don't. Um, no, 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 no. But, so let's see what's coming soon. Ish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I love this. I really love this. It Project does. Ara. Who doesn't love Project Ara? Probably oh, the people who doesn't love Project Ara is the people who doesn't know what Project Ara is. So Project Ara is the, the wildest dream for a mobile developer. Why is that? Because it's an Android device, of course, but it's a modular device. You not only can customize the software, you can customize the hardware. You can swap the uh, components in your phone. You don't like the camera anymore, you can put a new camera, just putting it out, the old one, and put it on the new one. Just like that. It's hot swapping, supposed to be. And it's really, really cool for us. We, you can imagine how you can do with that in, for any kind of hardware. And you can imagine Mario's face was kind of like that at the yeah, announcement. I, 
pretty much I'm always like that, Project Tara, oh yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so basically, <laughs> the thing is, um, it's not just a wild dream. They already did, I guess they already did, yeah. a, develop, um, a module conference. Yes. So for, uh, for so manufacturers. Trying to build up the manufacturer support for modules. And supposedly, that's going to come to market at some point soon, ish. 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 Again, ish. Or never. Who knows? Oh, Tango. Wanna Tango. dance? Wanna yes. dance? No? So, Project okay, Tango, no. it's, uh, it's another really interesting project that Google has launched last year. Um, it's basically uh, creating a platform of hardware and software running Android, a modified version of Android, that can uh, allow devices to map the surrounding environment in 3D in real time. Um, and it does it with some really fancy custom cameras and sensors and things. I'm not so smart. I don't know. <laughs> I just, it, it's magic, so it works. Um, the thing is, this actually is already available as a prototype. There's a developer kit, which is a tablet that runs, I think... It's on KitKat, I guess. KitKat, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Still KitKat. Um, the only problem is it's US only. Yay, you are going to get one. And then bring it over for all Italy to share. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. But this is closer probably to getting finalized as a product. It's really My amazing. Guesstimate. They, they presented, uh, we had the opportunity to try it at Google I.O. last year. They had a booth for, for Tango. And it's really, really awesome. It has full of sensors. You can track your position and show you, you can use it for games, for geo-positioning. It's amazing, really, really yeah. cool. So my reaction when I first saw it was pretty much like this. <laughs> <laughs> I must have one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much l like my reaction yeah. to ERA, but you have it for Tango. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and probably one of the possible usage of the, the, the whole sensor platform Tango is using could be for the next generation of Android for VR. And there has been, again, rumors uh, about an upcoming version, custom version of Android uh, by Google about VR, virtual reality. Uh, as you know, a lot of companies now are working with VR, uh, like pretty much everyone. <laughs> and uh, there, Google itself has been working with, with VR. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are creating VR hardware, like Samsung or HTC or even Sony is making the, the like VR um, hardware. But one of the first was Google last year at Google I.O. with the cardboard, which is a $15 paper-made cardboard, a piece of you know hardware. It's not hardware, it's paper. And, uh, with two lenses, you just put your Nexus 5 in it, and it turns into pretty much Oculus Rift. And if you uh, didn't have the chance to, to try it, uh, we will have a few cardboards at the Google booth here, the GDG booth, I guess. Uh, so if you want to try it, please come, and it's mind-blowing. Really, really cool. So it's the time set. Yeah, it is. OK. Uh, we've been thinking about this. Um, as GDE, sometimes we have preview of some, some products Google create, we, we like beta products. And uh, we've been discussing this between us because, you know, we signed an NDA, so we're not supposed to reveal anything. But we say, you know, it's DroidCon Italy. Screw that. We're going to make a product announcement. Right, Seb? Yeah, and or to jail, as you suggested. So it's super Either secret. One. It's super secret, so please don't tweet about this. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, it's just for the people in this room. Yeah, yeah. And you the know, people watching the video, I suppose. Please, yeah. And then after that, there are going to be some people making you sign an NDA because it's really, really super secret. So we, we don't want to leak this, right? OK, are you ready? I am. Should I introduce it? Of course you can. OK. So. As you have seen, Android is spreading on all kind of hardware devices, uh, TVs, watches, uh, glass, TV again, whatever. I don't remember any of them. Uh, but there's one big 
round gaping hole in the whole product lineup. And it's a hole that has to be filled somehow. So we thought, what is that everybody loves? Android, of course. So you can put Android on anything, and it will just be awesome. And then we thought, what is round? What is delicious? What is filling? And so Google came up with Android pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? Android pizza, everybody loves that. That's really amazing. Uh, we've been trying this, like, a lot. Yeah, uh, it's been it's, hard. It's really, really amazing. But, Seb, we, we need to say it. It's, yeah, it's un unfortunately, it's going to be US only. Yes. <laughs> Again, just bring back pizza from the US. No, no, don't. No, no. Please don't. No, no. US only <laughs> for a while. Again, we don't know when it's coming. So, sorry, guys. Yeah, that was just a joke. Just in case, lawyers, hello. <laughs> But you can have pizza and Android yeah. and just put your phone on a pizza and it will be the same. And see what happens. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's it. Yo, we hope, we yay, hope that's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we're, we're pretty much done. Uh, a few, few words. You know, as, as Francesco said, there is the bar camp, so if you want to do something stupid like, like, like this yeah. and want to come on stage and present something to the community, or better, like it's not difficult to do better. Yeah. Um, after this, yeah. this keynote, me and Seb, we're going to, to sign. Uh, please come for me and Seb, and we're going to, to prepare the list for the bar camps. So if you want to present, just reach to me and Seb. And also, if you have some ideas for an app or you have an actual app to showcase, as Francesco said again, we have an app clinic booth where you can come and show your app. And me, Seb, and a lot of speakers here will help you understand what are the problems and how you can improve your app. So it's definitely worth it. Use, use, use us. Use us. It's and you can also get an awesome custom made yeah, we have a app clinic sticker for your yeah, colleagues it's to, to envy. Yeah, it's pretty much you come, we bitch about your app being bad, and you get a sticker. So it's, it's perfect. It's a good compromise, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> cool. So thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, and enjoy DroidCon Italy. Thanks again. Enjoy.